Hello. I want to thank you for tuning in. Um, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I appreciate you. I want this video to get out to as many as possible. Um, before I get in, what I want to share with you, I want to let's say a quick word of prayer. Join me in prayer. Thank you, great shepherd of the sheep. We tell you thank you. We give you the praise and the glory. Thank you for this day. Thank you for how you've been keeping us in the name of Yahuwah, in the name of Yeshua, in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you as I share, dear God. I thank you for allowing the people, oh God, to have ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to the assembly, the called out assembly. And Father God, we praise you. We give you glory for the things that you are doing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I just want to tell all of you, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Uh, the purpose of this video is to share a video that I uploaded on my first channel. I've had requests uh, for this video and other videos that I saved to be re uh, to be uploaded again. And uh, this is the first video that I uh, uploaded on my uh, first channel back in 2020, uh, October. And um, I... Um, Share about the Walmart, the empty shelves at Walmart, and the uh, collapse of the U.S. dollar. And uh, we know the Walmart has already taken uh, place. It has already happened. And uh, many more things are happening. There is famine. Famine is coming in a greater measure to the land. It's not fear mongering, but it's sharing what the Lord is sharing with us. We have to sound the alarm and warn the people. And so that's all I'm doing. I'm just a seer. I'm a seer and I'm just warning the people with the dreams and the prophetic words that the Lord give me. I'm just warning you. So don't think of it as fear mongering. It's not fear mongering. It's warning. You hear me often say preparation. We have to prepare. The Lord has given us the opportunity to prepare, 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 prepare. And we don't want to be like the five uh, foolish virgins. Hey, you know, when the bridegroom came, they allowed their oil to run out. And they asked the five wives. <laughs> and they told them they only had enough for themselves. And so uh, I want to get on into it and share this. And I pray that you be blessed. And again, let's prepare, prepare, prepare. So here I go. Thank you, Lord. And uh, when I walked into Walmart, all the shelves were empty. Mm -hmm. And Dumbfounded, flabbergasted because, like a lot of you, I mean, I go into the Walmart expecting to get what I need. And when I walked in there, the shelves were empty. The only thing that was left was a bin in the middle when I walked in and it had stuff in it. And people were grabbing that stuff that was in those in that bin. And that one bin had wiped off everything off the shelves. And uh, they were grabbing everything that was in that bin. And after that, it was nothing. And when I woke up from the dream, it, it I mean, it got me to thinking because I know God deals with me prophetically. And the thing that stuck out with me about that was it was unexpected. It seemed like we didn't get, you didn't have a, a notice. It just happened suddenly. It happened and so that I'm pretty sure I was the only one was other people in there. They was in there before I got in there. Some people were walking with me as I was walking to go inside of Walmart. And when we got in there, it was the, the shelves were empty, empty. And there was just a little goods left in this bin. And people were, you know, grabbing and grabbing, and trying to get the last of the last. And I came up out that dream. And the Lord reminded me of previous dreams. This economy, the famine is coming in the land. 
things are about to change. And he told me some months ago that we've gone into another phase. If you have not noticed, the demonic attack is increasing. It's worse than it's ever been. Loves all kind of things are attacking you. The old thing that you thought you had got the victory over, they are coming back, pulling on you. We're in the last time. In the latter days, perilous time is upon us. We are seeing things that we've never seen before. And then I had another dream within that same week. If I'm not, it was in that same week. And having two dreams like that close, in close proximity to each other, I know the Lord is speaking because that's the way he speaks to me in dreams a lot of times. And most of all, he speaks to me with this right here, the word of God. And when I get a dream, I go to the word of God to confirm. And I got a lot of word up here and in my heart. And so when I wake up and I have a dream or a vision, I start thinking about, okay, the scripture, what does the word say? The Bible did say in a lot of time, perilous time is going to come. And we see it coming. It's on the horizon now. A lot of people seeing this stuff. It's not just me. Amen. And so I want to fast forward. Again, it is. It's not only me, but many are sharing. And when we see and we see the sword coming, we see the judgment coming. And woe unto us if we do not warn the people. And so I want to uh, fast forward and um, get into it and share a little bit more. Um, I'm that I have within the same week is that uh, we were standing around, people that I knew, we were sitting around and we had our money, all the money that we had. And uh, in the dream, we understood that the money had lost its value. Mm. Before I even knew David Coverstone or any of these people prophesying and sharing what the Lord has given them. The Lord, had, I had saw that already, and I shared that again with the church, you know, and with the prayer team and with the church and people I know. I said, y'all, I seen the dollar lose its value. When the Lord showed me something that you know it's going to come to pass, I said, we were sitting around, we had all our little money, and um, the government we just couldn't turn the money in. We had to wait for the government to um, call our name. And so we were all sitting around, and they finally they called my name. And uh, I remember the people, some of the people around me were saying, turn my money in. Let me give you some of my money so you can turn it in. But I said, I can't do that. If I do that, then I won't have any money to uh, enough because they were only allowing us to give so much money by money back and giving us the, the other money, don't that sound like the New World Order? Hey, y'all, it's on the way. I'm telling you, prepare. Get your heart out of this world, out of these things. Because after a while, all these things and this money that we have is going to be worthless. This fiat, this fiat money is going to be worthless. And so the Lord showed it to me. And I, you know... I had to go turn my money in, and they were only giving us so much. And uh, that's how my dream ended. The Lord was letting me know. I told you months ago, we've gone into it. Yes, we've gone into another phase. Yes, we have gone into another phase. And uh, we must prepare ourselves. Many people have seen the dollar collapse. It's going to collapse. No fear mongering. Just a warning for us <laughs> to get our house in order. To put our ultimate trust in Elohim and Yahweh. And I want to thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Until the next video, please share this video with others. Again, God bless you.